Coming up on the Raiders report, there is a lot of news and rumors swirling around Le'Veon Bell. I'm going to tell you whether or not the Raiders are going to go out and sign the free agent running back in. Who wants a Raiders jersey? I'm going to give you some details on how to get a free one in. If that's not good enough, maybe an injury update on Carl Nassib. And is he going to be headed to IR? And at the very end of the video, so make sure that you watch all the way until the end. Yeah, I'm talking to you. I'm going to let you know how many Chucky heads for the Raiders going out and trading for Carlos Dunlap, who is not so happy right now with the Cincinnati Bengals. That's all coming up right now here on the Raiders Report. Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report. I'll be hosting today's show, Mitchell Renz. And if you're looking for the latest news and rumors around the silver and black, you, I promise you, are in the right place. But we're not going to jump into just Raiders news and rumors first. We're going to first dive into some uh, Le'Veon Bell stuff to talk about. Now, the Jets, they released their running back Tuesday night. And not that I'm totally surprised because he refused an interview after the game on Sunday, vented his frustrations out on Twitter. He wants to be used a little bit more. Now, the reason why a lot of people are like, oh, Mitch, should the Raiders go out and get Bell? Originally, I was like, I don't really know if I, I would want that because the old saying, if it's not broken, don't fix it. And the Raiders offense has been spectacular. The one reason why I do think it's at least worthy of talking about is because the Jets owe him $6 million minus the team's new deal. So let's just say the Raiders go out and get him for $1 million, $2 million. Guess what? If you go out and get him for two, the Jets then only have to pay him four. Like, it's actually a pretty good bang for your buck. Now, he has not been good whatsoever with the Jets. And you could say maybe it's a Le'Veon Bell problem. And I do think it's somewhat a Bell's problem. But I also know one thing. The Jets are an absolute dumpster fire of an organization. And there is no way that he could be good or realistically almost anyone could be good. Now, I'll also say that I think that he's been outplayed by Frank Gore. And as soon as the news came out, everyone got really, really excited because everyone remembers the old Le'Veon Bell when he was with Pittsburgh where I would have actually made the argument back in 2017 he was the most complete running back in the National Football League not just because of what he did between the tackles you can see the numbers here but also what he added to the passing game and Josh Jacobs is a tremendous running back we also have a pass catching specialist in Jalen Richard but Le'Veon Bell would be better than Richard he would obviously be better than Devontae Booker but you also got to remember the Raiders don't really want a diva, and there is a part of me that is a little bit worried that Le'Veon Bell would be a diva. That's why he sat out in 2018. But I'm also going to make one more promise. If the Raiders go out <laughs> and sign Le'Veon Bell, I'm going to make a video about it. Whether I'm going to be live or whether we're just going to make a normal video, I promise you. When there is breaking news around the Las Vegas Raiders, we're going to be the very first channel on YouTube breaking it down. So if you're looking for a channel that covers Raiders news and rumors, we're the channel for you. Getting close to 59,000 subs, so please, Nation, go ahead and hit that big red button. Now, are the Raiders going to go out and get Le'Veon Bell? No. Zero Chucky heads. Tuck rule. Tuck that. As soon as I saw the news, I tweeted it out. Some people were happy about it. Some people were sad about it. Now, there was a report that the Raiders did call the Jets about a potential trade before the release. Now, if you remember, Gruden's really been interested in Bell. Back in 2019, he was interested. Heck, back in 2018, he was a little bit interested, and now it seems like he still is. The reason why Bell isn't going to become a Raider is because Bell, from what I've heard, doesn't want to be a Raider. He's shown interest in other teams. One of those teams, unfortunately, is not this team. Now, Gruden does want to keep Josh Jacobs fresh, which I do think is a very interesting thing to point out, and we'll get to what exactly that means here in a little bit, but the Raiders report is about the interaction of the nation. So every single person that comes across this video right now, I want you to be honest with me. Who's the better running back? If you think it's Le'Veon Bell, type LB. If you think it's Josh Jacobs type JJ, I expect to see a lot of JJs in the comment section. So let's look at some teams that have been linked to Bell. For me, if I were to put my money on a team that would actually be his best fit, I would go with the Chicago Bears. If I'm Le'Veon Bell and I want to get the most work, I'm going to Chicago. However, there's a part of me that thinks that he's going to end up in Miami because their running back situation there is, well, not so pretty. But the other teams to keep in mind, the Bills, the Chiefs, and the Patriots. The only team that I don't want to see him go to is the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, remember when I mentioned that John Gruden is trying to keep Jacobs fresh? He 100% is. And I think the way that you start to do that is maybe take some of these late game carries off him. The other part is this. You can really only rest Jacobs if you have an outstanding lead. 
I don't know how often that's going to happen with this defense. Now, there was a report that came out that Devontae Booker's going to get more work. And is he going to get more work? Yes. This one's for Chucky Heads. Believe it, baby. The reason why it's for Chucky Heads is because he has actually been playing a lot better than what any of us anticipated. And plus, he's been a reliable option, whether it's in the passing game, whether it's in the running game. Look for Booker to get more work. Now, does that mean he's going to start taking extra carries away from Jacobs in clutch situations? No, I don't think so. But Booker did play a pretty surprising role, I thought, in that Week 5 win over the Chiefs, where at the end of the game, you saw Gruden looking at a guy like Booker instead of some situations like Josh. So what I want you guys to look at here are the 2020 stat splits of Jalen Richard and Devontae Booker, because I'm like, who's maybe the actual RB2? I'm still going to lean with Richard because he's that pass-catching running back, but I'm genuinely curious on what you all have to say on this one. Who's the better running back right now, Devontae Booker type DB? Or if you think it's Jalen Richard, I want you to type JR. Coming into the season, we had this debate, and most of you took JR. So I want to see if your opinions have changed now that we're five weeks into the season. Let me know who the better running back is. Type DB for Devontae Booker. I want you to type JR for Jalen Richard. I promise you some details on how to get a free Raiders jersey, so listen up. Go to chatsports.com slash Raiders and get started with our partner, BetUS. If you like to bet on the Raiders, if you want to bet on NFL games, this is the best deal on the internet. Go to chatsports.com slash Raiders, use that deposit, or use the promo code Raiders125 for 125% deposit bonus. So I'm basically giving you, okay, $125 for free once you put down $100, plus a free Raiders jersey. So if you want a Josh Jacobs, a Henry Ruggs, Darren Wall, or Jonathan Avery, like, we got them. All you got to do is get started with our sports partner, BetUS. So basically, you're getting $125 and a free Raiders jersey for $100. If all you heard was free Raiders jersey, man, like, I think the exact same way. I get excited and kind of, you know, black out, if you will. So hit me up. Email me, Raiders at chatsports.com. I'm going to say it one more time. If you want details on that free Raiders jersey, Raiders at chatsports.com. All right, now let's talk a little bit here about Carl Nassibin, the latest around his injury. Is he headed to IR? I'm going to give this one three chalky heads, and I do believe that it's pretty likely. He broke his toe in Sunday's win versus Kansas City, and originally I was like, wow, where the heck is Nassib? Why isn't he playing, and how come he only played in five snaps? As soon as the game was over, the reports came out that he did end up breaking his toe. And, you know, I've seen a few people be like, well, Mitch, why doesn't he just put it in a cast? I mean, I don't know about you. I don't never even heard of putting a toe in a cast. That's not quite how it works. Now, luckily, the Raiders do have their bye week this week, which gives them that extra time to rest. And the new IR rules are three weeks. So for me, the reason why there hasn't been any new information out there is the Raiders are going to play a wait-and-see approach before they put them on IR. Now, this has not really worked out in the favor of the Raiders since I had a lot of high hopes for Nassib coming out of Tampa, who had six and a half sacks last year, who was one of the captains, and I've basically followed Nassib his entire career since he's come from Penn State, and I can tell you one thing, it has not been uh, all roses here whatsoever for Carl. Now, can you get more out of him? Potentially. However... Ultimately, you're going to see him be rest up. So you got the week six bye. Week seven versus Tampa, I don't see that one happening. Week eight versus the Browns, I don't see that happening. If you're realistic here, look for him to come back week 10 versus the Denver Broncos. So now who are some other players that need to step up? Arden Key, I'm looking at you. He played a bigger role as soon as NASA went down, played 37 snaps last week. Now, I also need a lot more out of Malik Collins because I think with this injury, you're going to see uh, Cleveland Furl get bumped into the inside, who has actually been playing very well. And shout out to Kendall Vickers. Kendall Vickers had one hell of a game in week five. I'm a little bit curious if it's just because Coletio Assembly went down, but these are three players that with Carl Nassib, the Raiders are going to be called upon. So what do you all think? Should the Raiders maybe go out and sign a player? Can you trade a player? Or you're just like, nah, we're good. Let's just a solid pass. Let me know what the Raiders should do. I want you to type S for sign, type T for trade, or I want you to type P for pass. If you typed your T for trade, you're really going to like this rumor here. Are the Raiders going to go out and trade for Carlos Dunlap? I'm going to give this one two chucky heads people are talking because if Carlos Dunlap does get on the uh, trade market, the Raiders will 100% be interested. This was a trade idea from Bleacher Report, and they go out and say one player that could be traded it was Carlos Dunlap to the Las Vegas Raiders, and I absolutely love this idea. So this past week, Dunlap was demoted during the Ravens game. 
where he basically then said, I don't like the idea that I'm only playing on third down. Is Carlos Dunlap what he used to be? No. But you know what I also know? That him and Paul Gunther have a good relationship from their time together in Cincy. And if the Raiders want to go out and make this move, you owe him about $5.4 million for the rest of the season because the Bengals, they got to basically eat a little over $2 million. So this is what his numbers are right now. He's over 30 years old. I get it. Are the Raiders in a youth movement? Yes, absolutely. And he's not right now on pace for one of his best seasons, but he's also not playing as much. But he is also just coming off a year where he had nine sacks, 63 tackles. And I'm almost curious if something is going on in Cincinnati where you're seeing players like A.J. Green, Carlos Dunlap, not have the seasons or maybe not have the years that they were because of maybe they're doing a youth movement and maybe they're getting a little bit discouraged. I do know one thing. <laughs> Carlos Dunlap has been one of the best defensive ends of my lifetime, personally. 82 and a half sacks, 489 tackles, 24 fumbles. He could bring something to this defense. There's no doubt about it. And yes, did the Raiders have a good game this past week against the Chiefs? Absolutely. But I'm still not 100% sold on the pass rush. I mean, there is a reason why the Raiders are one of the bottom teams, if you will, and going out and getting a player, one of the bottom teams going out and getting out for the quarterback. Why not go out and get a player like Carl or Carlos Dunlap? So let me know here. Why for yes or and for no? Get your votes in here. Mine is My answer is coming up here in just a sec. Should the Raiders trade for Carlos Dunlap? Give me a why for yes or I want you to type your end for no. My answer, yes. The Raiders should go out and trade for Carlos Dunlap. Here are my reasons. If you want to save your job, Paul Gunther, I think going out and getting a player that was very good in your system is a smart thing to do. Plus, Max Crosby's got four sacks. That's great and all. Cleveland Furl needs to step up and get after the quarterback a little bit more. But if you want to continue to be a dominant team in this league, in this division, you need to be able to get after the QB. Carlos Dunlap can help you do that. So Raiders, John Gruden, Mike Mayock, make the call, make the trade for Carlos.